Yeah, no question. I mean, we, we've got great young players coming up. Um, a real surprise team in, in Cleveland off to a great start, even though they've endured some uh, injuries and, and not really injuries, COVID stuff as much as anything. Um, you know, and then the Celtics starting to get it together now. Off to a slow start this year, but now they've won four out of five. And over that five-game stretch, they've been the best defense in the league. So surprises in the Eastern Conference we see at the top and at the bottom. So let's start with the top. Wizards, Bulls, Cavaliers, which one of those teams surprises you most? Uh, probably the Wizards being on top. I mean, but both the Wizards and the Cavaliers, I think, are surprises. And both coaches have really gotten teams to buy into defense. Wizards fourth defensively, Cavaliers sixth. Neither one of them good defensively last year. I don't think people are really that surprised by the Bulls. I mean, I think we all thought they'd be good. The surprise is a lot of the so-called experts had panned the Bulls for signing DeMar DeRozan, and he's been tremendous, a big reason that they're winning. So look at the teams that aren't so hot so far in the Eastern Conference. Atlanta, Boston, Milwaukee, New York, all playoff teams last year. Uh, only one of them in the top eight right now. Like everyone else, including your defending champs under 500. Who's the, I guess, biggest surprise on the bad side of this? The Hawks, to me. I, I thought the Hawks, they started the year, they looked okay. Now they're really, really struggling. They've lost six in a row. They're not guarding anybody. Um, they've become easy to score on. I think they're maybe the only team that is a disappointment there, to be quite honest. The Bucks are just hurt. They've just had too many injuries. Brooke Lopez only played one game. Middleton's been out. Giannis missed the last game. Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday was out. So theirs is just an injury thing. Um, Boston, new coach, took some, takes some time to adjust. Like we said, they've won four out of their last five. They're at six and six. That's probably about what you would expect anyways. They're about a 500 team. And I don't really... On the overall record, I'm not sure you, New York's a disappointment. They're seven and six. You know, I mean, they'll probably end up a bit over 500, but that's who they are. What's surprising with New York is how they've changed. So last year, a team who struggled to score but was great defensively, now they're the fifth rated offense in the league and can't stop anybody. So they have been totally transformed as a team, both for good and for bad.